Hello everybody, I am the Simp, and it is story time. Uh, this is a new segment I've been wanting to do where I tell you a little bit about my life. And before you ask the two most poignant questions of, uh, yes, the gameplay is pre-recorded. I'm not playing this right now. I'm hands-free here. Uh, I don't know why I'm hands-free. Probably because I uh, can't talk worth a shit when I'm playing a game. I can barely talk when I'm not playing a game. So... The other question, of course, is, yes, I'm that bad at, uh, Siege. Uh, I'm not terrible, but I'm pretty damn bad. Anyway, so let's get right into the story. This, uh, this happened when I was about nine, I guess, and my little brother was three or four at the time. Now, like any, uh, brothers, we have our issues, of course. To this day, we don't always see eye to eye, and that's just a very normal thing to happen in any family dynamic. But... I guess at the age of nine, I became something of a criminal mastermind. Uh, so let me set the scene for you. I think my little brother broke my Game Boy Color, and if you're l as dedicated to gaming as I am, that is a huge no-no. Like, I literally wanted to strangle him. But I couldn't do that because he was four, and you can't strangle someone anyway. Uh, I mean, you can. You can do anything you want, but I, I, I wasn't looking for to go to juvie and get like my prison rapist name tattooed on my butt. So, uh, yeah. So I decided to go a little more devious, a little more subtle route. So, one thing about a four-year-old is they're kind of a pissing machine, and they don't always piss where they, they, you want them to piss. Uh, I've babysat before, so I know that's a thing, and I've a. Uh, I've been on the cleaning, receiving end, that sounds really dirty, I don't mean it to seem dirty, by receiving end I mean the cleaning up portion, of uh, having to deal with a kid just pissing somewhere they're not supposed to. And in this case, I decided, why the hell not uh, stage that? Like, I was going to do a setup, like some uh, like uh, noir ass shit, where you like, where it's like, oh, they, uh, they framed you for a murder, but instead I was framing him for pissing. Uh, to this day, I don't think he knows that I've done this. So, I guess one day, uh, when nobody was looking, I kind of just walked into his room. Uh, my little brother had a lot of toys. Like, a lot, a lot of toys. And he actually inherited, like, a huge toy chest from me. Something that I never really agreed to. I think that might have been part of the reason I did this in the first place. I can't remember. I was freaking nine. I can't remember what I did last week, so... Uh... I walk into his room, I unzip the pants, and I uh, uh, pull my dick out, as the kids say, and it wasn't for Harambe, because back then, Harambe was probably still alive. No, I pulled my dick out for revenge. Revenge for something I'm still hazy on. I, uh, I took up stance, you know, like, I looked like I was about to do some freaking karate. I uh, just took up stance. Probably did some hand signs like Naruto or something, because I was real into that when I was in that age. Something weird as shit that would make you uncomfortable if you saw it actually happen. Which, thankfully, no one did, or else this plan wouldn't have worked anyway. So, I go ahead, and I just let the old piss cannon go. All over his Thomas the Tank Engine toys, which used to be my Thomas the Tank Engine toys. And his Hot Wheels cars. Kid was like a fucking fiend for Hot Wheels cars. He had like every single one of them. I don't. I didn't even know some of those cars existed. I don't think some of those cars do exist. They're f geometrically impossible. You've seen some like fucking Eldritch cars. I don't know. Uh, but either way, the main point being, as I pissed all over his toys, I had that moment of satisfaction. Like, yeah, I'm. To this is totally gonna be awesome. Uh, and it was because. Pretty immediately afterwards, I just go back in my room. Because at least at the age of nine, I'm smart enough to know that once you've done something stupid, don't hang around to reap the rewards. Uh, maybe if I was eight, this plan wouldn't have worked. I don't think I would have been mature enough then. Nine is a good mature age to start being an asshole. Um, and I was. I was very much an asshole. So... I guess my mom walks into the room, and you just hear her scream at the top of her lungs. Because my, that's my little brother's name. And you, uh... Of course, my little brother is like... I don't know, he's playing like Nintendo 64 or something. Probably playing Sarge's Heroes. And, uh... 
he fucking she he, he comes trotting into the room because running in that clumsy way that all kids that have barely been able to walk yet do he uh he gives like he takes one sniff of the air and he he just you could just like hear the defeat in his voice and he's just like it wasn't me <laughs> and it was really funny because at the time i was sitting there snickering in my bed uh the sounds of spanking of uh, innocent child buttocks came from the next room. Uh, and he cried, of course, because that's what you do when you're at that age. You cry because you think it hurts. I mean, you, you, at that age, you don't know what true pain really is, such as the pain of being live and of having a YouTube channel nobody watches. Uh, anyway, so that's not even the whole thing either. Pretty soon afterwards... He fucking, uh, she just gathered up all his toys in a trash bag and threw them away. Now, that was the unintended consequence. And thinking back on it, I think this is what haunts me to this day. Like, it, it was one of those situations where I never meant for that to happen. And by the way, if you see me rocking back and forth, the weird chair they gave me at my desk here just does that. I have, It's a rocking chair. No, I'm not sure why they thought I'd want this, but I have it, so I'm using it. Um... Anyway, like I was saying, so he gets his toys thrown away, and you know, it, it was in that moment that I guess I realized that I was always going to be an asshole, to some extent. That was like a defining moment, like that was that binary choice in most RPGs where I could have chosen to be a good guy or a bad guy, and I immediately chose bad guy. Uh, I like to think since then, I've become a little less dickish and childish, not much, but a little bit. I still rail on my brother as much as I possibly can, and uh, if he sees this video, I'm probably going to be dead tomorrow, because he's much bigger and much stronger than me now, so I guess the joke's on me, you know? It's, it was funny at the time, because he was four years old, and you can just, you can uh, fucking, you can mess with a four-year-old, because what are they going to do? They're going to cry. Now, he can strangle me, and I'll die. Like, there's no two ways about it. I will die. Anyway, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. It, I wouldn't say it weighs on my conscience, but I thought it was an interesting look at, like, my childhood and some of the weird shit I did, because I was not a normal child. I'm still not a normal human being, but back then I liked to think I was a little worse. I don't like to think it, but I do think it. I don't think anybody likes to think they're weird. But, you know, anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed hearing the story, or at least entertained you. I don't think you can enjoy hearing about a nine-year-old pissing on a four-year-old's toys unless, I don't know, maybe maybe you're into that. And if you are, I, su I suggest you go seek out some help. But for now, anyway, I hope you uh, were mildly entertained by hearing this story. And if you want to hear more stories like it, make sure you give me a comment, like it, subscribe, and tell me what you've done that's just really fucking weird in your childhood. Preferably something that, uh, something that's a crime you got away with like and uh, let's let's keep it from ages like seven to ten like something in that age range i don't want to hear about the your stories as an 11 year old where you jacked off for the first time without mommy noticing that, that that's between you and god uh and perhaps the psychiatrist you're talking to anyway thank you so much for watching like i said and uh I'm going to do more of these videos in the future. I enjoyed recording this. I think it's a more personal video. Most of the t most of my videos I'm just kind of talking about the game. This time I wanted to tell you a little bit about me. I guess it's weird, right? Cuz that's your first impression of me now. Like now when you think of me you're going to be like, "Oh yeah, Semp, he's the guy that pissed on his little brother's toys to get him uh thrown out." Uh so yeah. Uh I'm starting to regret this video, but I'm too far into it to quit now, so... Yeah. I guess, you know... I hope that your kids never piss on each other's toys. Those of you out there who are close to that age. And, uh... I'll see you guys in the next one.